Hi, uh, so please introduce yourself. My name is Natalie Hunter and I'm with HP. And uh, what do we see here? So they, these are our new HP Spectre X360 14-inch and 16-inch laptop PCs. These are our first PCs with a new Intel Core Ultra processor. So what that means is it has not only a CPU and a GPU, but it also has an MPU. So the MPU is a dedicated AI engine. So if you're doing any sort of AI task like content creation or video calls such as background blur, it'll be offloaded onto the MPU and that frees up the CPU to do other tasks in the background. And everything's on the same SOC? Yes. All right. And uh, here, for example, you're showing stuff to do with uh, video editing, for example? Yeah, so I'll give you a quick demo of how that MPU would work. So this is something called Filmora. It's just a video editing software. So if I play the video and I turn on one of these AI features, you'll notice that the MPU will start to increase. So like I said, those AI workloads are offloaded onto the NPU. All right, uh, uh, and it's very power efficient, thin yeah. and long battery? Yes, um, I think it's lo longer battery life, especially with that MPU, because it makes it more efficient, you're able to do things faster, so it saves battery life. And can we check out the smaller one there? Yes, so this is our 14 inch, it comes in 16 inch, 14 inch. And uh, it has a bunch of uh, Thunderbolt, Kind of ports, USB 4? Yes, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt port, uh, ports. Um, it has a 9 megapixel camera. Um, it has some other built in AI features like uh, walk away lock and wake on approach for security in public spaces. Uh, it ha also has variable refresh rate, so um, that adjusts to your on screen content. Let's say you're reading a document, it'll drop the refresh rate down to 48 hertz, and that'll help you to save pa power. And if you're doing something like scrolling or browsing, it'll boost it up to 120 hertz for less lag and better performance. So it's variable display refresh rate. Yes. So it's really saving on power. Yes, and better uh, performance and power You have saving. a cool connector in the corner. Is that, uh, you've That's been the doing USB that before? C. Yeah, yeah. All That's right. not, this is something that we do with Spectre. You'll see that a lot on Spectre. And, um, you, you, you don't necessarily have the the SD card slots. No SD. On maybe on the bigger one. No. No. We removed those. All right, but you have a full size HDMI. Yes. That can do 4K 60 and everything. Yes. It's, it's not an HDMI 2.1 with an 8K output, right? It's no. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. You're and uh, how about the price? Uh, it ranges anywhere from about 1600 to 2000 depending on how you configure it. And uh, you just talk about the U.S. market? You I'm talk sorry? about Europe also, other markets, or mainly uh, the U.S. market? Yeah, just U.S. Right.